Today's session or stormwater school session is all about the step-by-step -step process of a stormwater project. So we're going to talk about what happens from the initial inquiry that we receive all the way to our team on site installing the tank. So without further ado, Lisa, take it away. What is the step-by-step -step process that someone would go through with a stormwater project? Um, well, obviously, it starts with the inquiry. Um, first thing happens is that we send a drawing, mainly. Um, we have a plate system that's modular. Um, you know, it uses base plates and end plates. Um, so it's really, really important that we get a drainage drawing to best be able to match our, pro um, our product to the, the tank shape. Um, you know, the number of base plates and end plates can be quite seriously affected by the tank shape. So we take the drawing. Um, you know, we obviously look at the crimps, look at whether it's under a landscape area, under a traffic area. Um, whether inspections required and we match the product to the best one in our range basically. We do have to sometimes make little amendments to the tank shape or dimensions just to work with our, with our crates which are an 800 um, by 800 square. Um, I've got little models here to show you um, and we kind of we come up with a solution that um, works with our product range. So once we've put together a proposal we value engineer it as well wherever possible you know look for ways that we can um, you know make it better our crate system is a really high void ratio as well, so we can often take um, quite a few metre cube off of the tank compared to what's drawn and give the same storage volume because of our excellent void ratios of 96 or 97%. Um, so we put together the best proposal. Obviously, one of the sales team will do a quotation and send this over to you with you know um, a bit of detail on what we've sent along with our spec sheets and our standard drawings for you to be able to check the technical specifications of the tank. Um, assuming that you're happy with what we've put forward, you would contact us and let us know, um, place the order, and we would at that point do a site-specific um, drawing based on our system, which we would send back to you for approval. A technical team would put together, would do technical calculations and um, do a drawing um, showing exactly how the cable would look in our tank. We would send this back to the customer for them to sign off and approve and just double-check they're happy with everything before we proceed any further. Um, we need usually need our approval back within about two to three weeks of us going to turn up on site so that we can then allocate stock, get deliveries organised, etc. Um, and if you are happy with it, says if you are happy with the drawing we've produced, we'll schedule an installation date on site. Um, and the team will then obviously arrive to do the install. Um, they, we can do a t um, infiltration, soak away installations or also attenuation tanks. So obviously with an infiltration, the difference being you're only surrounding the crates with a geotextile system. We would lay the geotextile, obviously use our crates, as I said here, to, um, you know, build the crate, uh, build the tank size, whatever, as we've drawn. Um, we do require the contractor to provide us with um, a forklift driver to assist the installation, um, to get the crates into the excavation for our installers. And then once we've built the tank to the required shape, we'll obviously wrap it all up in the textile and seal it. And we only ever heat seal our tanks. Um, you know, we also have the attenuation, it's the exact same process, the difference being you're adding an, um, an extra geomembrane to make the tank waterproof rather than to infiltrate. So it's textile and then geomembrane. We build the crates in and wrap it all up and we heat weld it and give you a 30 year guarantee in those welds as well. Um, we then leave the contractor, um, you know, to sign off. We, you know, give them their, their warranty, a sign off sheet to make sure that they're happy with everything on site. And then we come away and it's the contractor's responsibility to then backfill the tank and obviously continue with the groundwork from there. We also have little pipe connection pieces as well, um, you know, like um, adapter plates so that we can easily connect up, you know, twin wall pipe, et cetera, and, and vent to the, you know, the tank system. It's really, really important to vent the, the attenuation tanks as well so that the air has somewhere to go when the water comes in. It's quite a thing that people often ask us about, but obviously venting it is incredibly important. So that's the process. It really is quite straightforward. Um, and we are obviously there to help you, guide you through the whole thing as well.